Hydra Gaming. <laughs> um, we're playing Evolve Stage 2, uh, doing our goodbye video today, because, as some of you may know, this game is dead. Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to... Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Final Hydra, and uh, today we're going to be doing our goodbye to Evolve. Uh, for anyone who has not known, as Dogma just mentioned... Uh, Turtle Rock Studios has begrudgingly had to abandon the game. I actually don't want Abe. <laughs> you uh, don't want Abe? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Griffin. There we go. Yeah, it's you pretty know. much it. And you know what? I say begrudgingly because the article that they released, they said that you know this is what happens when you when you work with a with a AAA developer and you're not that AAA developer. Turtle Rock is not by any means like a studio that has its own agenda and everything so they were very much under orders to abandon the game by I don't remember which studio has authority over them right now um I wanna say 2k 2k? But I, could be wrong. I, I don't think you're wrong yeah I think I think it is 2k um so basically 2k commanded them to abandon the game uh, Evolve Stage 2 because they felt it wasn't going to be profitable. They felt that it wasn't uh, seeing the returns that they desired. Uh, because uh, for those of you who are, didn't play it at all, didn't watch any further videos, Evolve Stage 2 re-released as a free-to-play game. Uh, very similar to most games out there now. Basically, the longer you play, you get a you get a currency in the game, and you can unlock monsters, champion, or, or hunters uh, with that currency over time. And, and they, they the, release a certain number of free ones every week for people to play. Upon the the, the re-release, so the stage two, when they made it a free-to-play game, I think the point game was it was maybe a little bit too easy. You know, you got silver keys pretty quick. I bought all of the hunters, uh, not all of the hunters, all of the assaults pretty much within like two, three weeks. Yeah, um, I don't think that's so bad though. So, uh, yeah. real quick, I'm gonna I'm just gonna quickly say, at relaunch of Evolve Stage Two. The player base at its max was at 51,000, which Wait, isn't bad. I'm going to compare that to, so February 2015 when Evolve came out, um, it looks like the peak was, was even lower than that. It was 27,000. So when Evolve, the, the actual Evolve game you're saying? Yes, when yeah. it first launched, uh, 27,000 was its peak. 9,000 was its average, so compare that to the real launch. 15,000 was its average, so the real launch did significantly better. Than the actual AAA title uh, game launch. And I would say the reasons for that are probably plentiful. Um, the DLC hub marketing campaign oh, God. that they, they ran with with the original Evolve, I don't think that helped them in any respect. Yeah, uh, I, oh. I remember I was a uh, I was one of those idiots in the very beginning who was like, yeah, this game's gonna be great, and I bought into it. And I mean, in the very beginning, they said, hey, listen, we're gonna be releasing monsters for money. Like the all the the next releases of monsters in the game are gonna be fifteen dollars each. Damn. That's yeah, definitely. that was really rough. Uh, for a lot of people in the beginning, and it really dampened the the player base. I'd say right out the gate, because so no, many people were like, "How do I put faith in these guys if they're 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 already telling me that I'm gonna have to pay sixty dollars for a game? Uh, I think it was like forty something dollars for the season pass, yeah, and the was, season pass yeah. did not include the monsters. And it, yeah, it didn't even give you every hunter that they were gonna release either. Yep. Didn't it only give you the first like two packs or something? That is correct. It, it, it was, it was, it was less than ideal. Oh, I'm already fighting things, by the way. He, he's yeah, on me. so that we're moving him. I hit that button by mistake. My bad. Yeah, I'm going down. Get out of here, you damn thing. So, with the re-release, you could say that it was it was a unanimous success in comparison to the original game. Release. Um. And you know what? We had a lot of fun playing it when it first came out. I mean, me and Dog Mai played a couple games together. I did a couple solo games with the monster. I, I genuinely enjoyed it, what Evolve Stage 2 had to offer. It, so, it was fun. I never found really... I mean, there were some inherent balance issues. There were some goofy bugs and things yeah, that made but, the game... Yeah, I mean, there always fun. are. Man, he is just on game. me like stink on a fly. Get the hell out of here. I can't even harpoon him because there's no purpose to. He's just on top of me. 
All right, thank God he's running away. We got to talk about this game some more. Um. So anyway. So. Poor network. Oh God. Gameplay may be affected. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So uh, the DLC hub was definitely a big, a big hit that this game took. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, and, and the fact that you know, so many people who pre-ordered felt that they were they were misled but I mean I feel like it's a good game I feel like this is yeah I feel like it, this is a good twenty dollar game if like if, if they had just charged 20, twenty bucks 20 to thirty price point with five dollars per hunter it would or, uh, they sold the hunters in packs of four right yes they sold them in packs of four that you would pay like fifteen or if you had the season pass it was I think you would uh, you would get a little bit of a discount like always God, we're going to catch this guy so quick, we're not even going to get to talk about it. So anyway, um, a little over a week ago, Turtle Rock Studio released that they were going to abandon uh, the game. So, now, I want to just point this out. A month ago, a month no. ago before the re uh, them saying, oh, we, we can't do it anymore, we've been, we've been ordered to let the game run its course. Yeah. Um, and not develop anything further. No new hunters, no new skins, no more time is allowed to be dumped into the game by the, the studio. The, uh, uh, the, the player base situation currently is also completely up in the air. Nobody knows what's going to happen to it. So this could very well be the last game of Evolve ever played. Yeah, it, you know, yeah, they could pull the plug any time now. Um, alright, so I was being a bad hunter on purpose. He's right here, actually, like, wow, he's literally right next to us again. I feel bad, like, because we're gonna we're gonna rock this guy. We're not gonna get to talk about this game in, in tonight. Um, so the player base a month ago, before they they made this this announcement, was uh, at peak 3,000 players, which is a significant uh, decrease on 51,000. But I mean, yeah, you have to, you know, at re at launch, everything is high. Everything is really high at launch because people are really excited. So they had, on average, about 3,000 dedicated players to the game on it on any given day. You know, that probably can go up, that can go down, give or take. Uh, now, this week, after the, you know, after the announcement, that, that number has been halved by, uh, it's now down to 1,700. Did I say, yeah, I said 3,000 before, so now we're down to 1,700. Uh like peak players and that's during like big hours and stuff like that's the most this game sees on any given day is 1700 um and then we can look at how many players are on right now as we are trying to do this video we have just under 800 players in this game right now at all so finding a match i'm, I'm dead actually wow i didn't I'm yeah no we die super quick um, so yeah, this game has just under 800 players, which is really abysmal when you think about it. Yeah, I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty astounded that we found a match as readily as we did one piece. Yeah, I mean, we only had to wait about, I don't know, let's say 15 minutes? Yeah. Would that be a gross under, overstatement, understatement? Nah, I'd, I'd say that's pretty accurate. So, so why, why was the game unsuccessful in its, in its free-to-play model? Why was... It ordered to be evolved, or not? Even, why was it ordered to be evolved? Why was it ordered abandoned? There's a lot of like speculation as to why, but like the big factor is, it just wasn't the cash cow that either the the Papa Studio or you know the overriding studio thought it would be. Um, and that could be done for a couple things. Uh, what do you what do you think about that, Dog Mai? Uh, so. I think if I we would have to look at the numbers and start running like patch references and stuff like that. But one of the big things that keeping up with the Reddit uh, people were very upset with was the changes to key values. Um, when they changed the silver keys after that big event where they fucking handed them out like candy, um, they really nerfed most of the character or not characters. They most nerfed the key game, making it very very difficult to get new characters. Um, yeah. Right after that patch is when they want the gold key system, making it, you know, like League of Legends, you can buy characters and stuff like that. Which um, I don't actually hate. 
I really like that in games, and I know a lot of people are gonna are gonna like sh wag their finger at me. I don't know why. If it's a free to play game with a with a time investment window on keys and stuff, why not offer a, a pay to have your character? Like I like that because sometimes I don't want to dump a week in. Nowadays. And like, see, the issue that they most people found was the fact that they nerfed the silver key game for free players, making it pretty prohibitively hard to get in, um, while then rolling out this patch unannounced that they're going to make it a paid option. Yeah. So, people got upset about that because it is like a little, kind of a shitty thing to do to your player base. Yeah, you don't tell them that you're gonna that you're gonna make it. You know, hey, we're gonna offer this new paid option. It's not mandatory. It's fully optional. But if you'd like to, you know, forego hours of grinding, you can just pay five dollars or whatever it is for, for. You know, it's basically like League of Legends with riot points versus uh, you know the free points that you get. I can't remember. Yo, one back towards the team. There you go. Uh, it just it makes it too hard to get into the game. And that was a big reason why I think we stopped seeing new players at that point. Because people didn't want to come into the game at any point. It's, you know, you have to... It's like normal, you know, people come in, people leave. You want to try and keep the number balanced, people coming in and people leaving. Yeah. Um, with the, the silver key nerf, you sort of threw that balance severely out of whack. So what ended up happening with that, people didn't want to play Evolve. They didn't want to get into it because the time investment was, you know, really inefficient. They can't feel like they're being rewarded enough for their time. Yeah. And I don't I don't really disagree with that. Um, even I, who put a lot of time into this game, you know, it came to a point where I couldn't unlock any new characters. So, like, there's no really, not much point to keep playing for me. Yeah, like, I, I can understand that. You know, when you feel that the developer has kind of pigeonholed you <clears throat> into not being able to advance farther now because they're trying to make money it, it does kind of put a sour taste in the in the player base's mouth as a whole i mean we both put a decent amount of time into this we both very much enjoyed in the beginning we may not have done you know a million and two videos with it but you know we had a decent amount of time just this was kind of like our our kill time game like when we were mm -hmm. not doing other videos it was fun it was enjoyable like i I don't know. And I it was like super characters. quick to get into a game in the beginning. Yeah, because a ton of people were playing because it was hot. Uh, yep. It. What would the profile be? They opened in June, closed in October, June, July, August, September, October. Wow, five months. This game had a five-month lifespan. That's after pretty bad. The initial res er, like reboot. That is a little sad. Um, I mean, I've I, definitely gotten a lot of fun out of this I don't game. see why it had such a short lifespan. I can definitely see the, the, the factors into why people uh, personally left and, you know, why the player base itself has dwindled to, to literally nothing. Absolutely. I can understand it. It's just... For a game that, that's this polished already and is this solid, it's, it's just a shame. Because I like this game, and I... I feel I don't want to blame Turtle Rock because this was their baby. I don't think it's their fault. I I feel well, they were under pressure from from a higher up developer. Yeah. To make money with this. I we we don't know for sure simply because that's a lot of internal politics. Yeah, I mean we're but, this is all speculation. None of this is hard fact other than the numbers that we've said for player bases. Those are the only hard facts that we have access to as uh, as just uh -huh. players. If they would have put so much time, like this game, I really, it's very pretty. Um, all of the effects, the, the fucking, the characters are really well done. I mean, They're everybody feels unique. Out. It, yeah, it's cool. Everyone has different powers, and they must have put some monochrome of time into this. Like they had to, uh, so much so that they wanted to try and reboot the game and you know get people to play it again, which I think was an absolutely admirable cause. Yeah. Um, this is a fun game, and I was super excited about it when it first came out. I didn't end up getting it because of the DLC hub. Yeah, that uh, was so the, the problem I feel if, that a lot of people uh, saw with it. Uh, if you take my situation, which I would say I'm, I'm an average consumer, you know, I don't have a lot of money to spend on games, so when I do, it's got to be a good game, you know? You um, have to feel like it's going to be something that you're getting a, a decent amount of time out of. Yeah. Which I can understand. 
I mean, that's why, uh, you know, like Dark Souls and games like that, people feel it's, it's a safe buy. Because it's not like people dump like 10 hours in and are like, oh, well, this was a great game, I'm done. Or like Fallout. People dump 300 hours into that for $60. I've, I've put thousands of hours in Fallout 3. Just Fallout 3. Just, uh, just Fallout 3. To it's account for... Good. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's fun. Fallout 4, I've also sunk a disgusting amount of time into. Skyrim, like, it's, it's replayability, but that's something you can't really expect from a game like this. Um, well, I guess you can. That's a lie. You can definitely expect an amount of I mean, I understand where people could say, like, like after a, a, a good weekend and a half of this, you could, you won't see anything new. But, I mean, you're, like, all the different team combos, all stuff like that considered, I, I definitely think that people should have given this game a little bit more of a chance. It, um, the asymmetrical combat was certainly... It's not unique. I'm gonna die. Combat. Damn. Um, but... Yeah, like, is, I, I needed a healing and I don't know where our healer was. Dude. That's okay. I don't, I don't really he's, care. He's... Abe, so he was like... Oh. Uh, not Abe. He's Parnell. Paladin Parnell. Healer Parnell? Oh. Oh, he is. Oh, wow. But, you know, the, basically, right now, it's a, it's an open-closed case. This game is, is dying. It's, I mean, yeah, at this point, um... You could consider it dead. But, I, I would say it's really just circling the drain right now of... of forgotten uh, uh it's... i if you if you ask me my personal opinion i really could not see the servers for this game lasting more than another two months no there's no point to sink money into it i mean the, the player base is declining so rapidly we also have percentages on the steam charts if you want to look at them we're gonna win by timeout too oh really yeah i'm fine only... with that because i wanted i wanted it to be a little bit longer of a game i wanted to be able to chat about it you know yeah um I would say, oh, there he is. Yeah, Closing like how long would you pole. give this if you had to guess at this point? Oh, yeah, I'd probably give it less than two months. Um, I would assume right now they're just trying to, I don't know. They're trying to I write the email, the, like the post on why they're going to close the servers. Uh -huh. I also want to, before we end this video, I want to really quickly point out, there's one scuzzy thing that, that really bothers me. Um, the fact that, so the game is closed. Right now, the status of the servers is completely in purgatory. They don't know if they're going to keep them up. We don't know if they're going to take them down. But they're still allowing you to buy things with gold keys. That's a little fucked up. It is. Um, like, they're, they're still allowing you, if you want... Um, to spend money on a game that they have promised no longer development on. And if it's like a game that has longevity outside of continuous development, um, like Dark Souls. Dark Souls doesn't have to be continuously developed for the game to be good. You know, you develop it, you release it, you release expansions, but there's a point where, like, you can always play through the story. This has no individual content. I no, mean, I, yep, I, no story content whatsoever ever besides the um, the little, uh, the tutorial. That would be about it. Did you ready up? Uh, yeah, I, I continue. Um, there's effectively just no... There's nothing that you can gain with your money that is lasting in any way, shape, and form. Yeah, because it's it's gonna go away. Because this game is it's already dead. They've ceased to develop it. They even they said basically they, said it's dead, and we don't know what to do with the servers. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, it's a good game. It was a fun game. It had a lot of good points. The asymmetrical combat was unique. Uh, it was different than something you'd see in like, like, oh, we don't want to bring up Dead by Daylight because Ooh. there's a lot of comparisons that we can make. Um, but um, hey, hey, we gotta do another game. All right, well, let's keep rolling. Yeah, um, we'll do one more. We'll do one more, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I'm trying to think of other instances of asymmetrical combat. Asymmetrical Turtle combat. Rock... Let's see. Dead by Daylight doesn't really count because there's it's not really combat. Uh, it's everyone versus a, a killer that they can't affect. Um, I'm really trying to think of it myself, and I'm having a I'm having a hard time. So Left for Dead, Turtle Rock's previous endeavor. Um, oh, that was. Left 4 Dead was Turtle Rock? Yes, it was. Which, really? Which I didn't remember really that. really makes this a lot sadder. Because Left 4 Dead was an excellent game that people are still playing. 
factor that one out, people are still enjoying Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. Because they're solid games, and they give you all the content um, that you want. You know, they give you the expansion packs, they give you a story, which, you know, the story in Left 4 Dead isn't a lot. But, you mm. know, I can run through Mercy Hospital like a billion times and still have fun, because it changes, you know, it's, it's a little bit procedural. Uh, you get the AIs and stuff like that, which are competent. And it's not as bold as Evolve was trying to be with its asymmetrical combat. Uh, yeah, I no, I hear you. Oh, look at the little, uh, the little, did you see the little Kraken with the witch hat on the broom? No, I hadn't. Like, oh. look, look down there in the little thing. You see that? That's cute. I like that. Oh, that is cute. Alright, I gotta play home too. Um, <laughs> man, see, I, I really like a lot of these characters. I think they're interesting. I like them all. I really do. There's, there's very few. I, I wasn't a fan of Parnell when he was released. I'll be honest. I thought he was so lame. He's very boring. Like you were like, oh man, it's he's basically like the Han Solo. He's the captain of our ship. He's, he's all this, and then you're like, oh well. He's really not that interesting. He's just a guy with a gun that can shoot through walls. I mean, I don't know. I like all... I really... If you really want to... If you ask me what my personal favorite character was, just how, like, interesting, I think, like, from a development standpoint, and, uh... Would be K uh, Cabal. I think her name's Cabal or Kabbalah? Kala. Kala, excuse me, yeah. I think Kala is cool. I think that's such a unique concept for a support to be like that really overt damage support. Like that's just cool. She was, and she was very unique, like with the teleporters and the mines and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the fact that her arm, like she was just some, she was a scientist who wanted to be, understand the creatures more, so she gave up her arm to science to like become half creature. I think that, I think that was really cool. I really, I really felt for her, her character a little bit there. Um, I, I miss the story in this game. It was also very interesting what they were getting at. Um, How they didn't tell it, but they all the characters spoke about it. Uh huh. I it love was interesting. That. You, you learned a little bit. Like uh, Lennox is Jack's mom. Yep. That one you find out just like through like random conversations yep. stuff like and, that. And uh, that Jack, uh, Jack built Emmett. Yep. There's just there was so much There's potential. I think it's I funny that everybody looks up to uh, Abe, like everybody thinks Abe is like this real big fancy hunter. He's a movie star. Like. He's ba oh god, we have two Abes in this game. Oh god. Oh, what, what? in God's name is this? Ready. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm fight. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Uh, if I lied to you and told you I knew, would that make you feel better or worse? I don't know, but... Yo, I'm wagging. I'm real sorry then, friend. <laughs> well, I'm really unsure what's going on. Do I have like a an Xbox controller plugged in here? Do you I'm not? I'm just gonna cheese. Oh, don't cheese! Don't be that guy. I forgot how to move fast. Uh, I just I need a medic to like help me out right now. I guess there's not going to be a fucking medic to assist me. <laughs> I don't really get what this game mode is here. Like, I think it's I think it's battle to the death. It's stupid though. <laughs> there's no hunt. There's nothing. It's just. All right. So I guess this is another. Oh yeah, this is another reason why this game garbage and very negative favors. Um, these game modes that they added, instead of giving us new maps, all suck. Um, they are broken. This one I've never played before. I didn't know this was a thing. Um, but the, the power-up mode is busted. It's absolutely busted because, uh, fucking... You can get five power-ups. It was super T-sided. <laughs> oh, oh, map. the super power map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was, was survivor-sided. Um, let's see. 
the what was the other one that they made? Oh, the meteor one was monster side because the monster could heal. Yeah, in with... the meteors. That's that was crazy. I remember that. Yeah, that. Was I remember ridiculous. playing that and like going, "What the hell is going on with this?" Yeah, uh, that one was this, and this I guess I don't know. I've never encountered this before, but I guess this is just another reason why this this game tragically died. <laughs> What, you don't like the uh, the free-for-all? Wow, I cannot climb. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Yo, if I, I am... knew this game was... If I knew what this game mode was going into it, I would have probably not picked Renegade Abe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you picked Abe! I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't, I didn't mean to crush you. Yo, our cabot is definitely not doing his job as cabot. What is his job as cabot? To keep people alive? To do something? Yes. I, don't know. I didn't know cabot had a job, but I can tell you what, this guy here is not uh, having a good time as cabot. Yo, our Abe just carried. Alright, so this is. <laughs> this is. This Free for all! This is a really great proof of concept though. This is hilariously unfun. Like Hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know it was like this. Uh can I change my character? No, I can't. I just have to be I just have to be Renegade Abe, I guess. Yep, you just you just you gotta be ready. You just... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, I, I, you know what? I know you're not, you're not a fan of this right now. I, I wasn't either. I thought this was gonna be, you know, good old fashioned, you know, hunted up. I didn't realize that this is what was happening to us. But I'll tell you what, I, I gotta applaud them for trying. You know, I got, you gotta applaud these guys for giving it an attempt, even if it's not the attempt that you would have liked personally, you know what I mean? You gotta give him, you gotta give him some props. Sorry, buddy. You're just, you're the one I see. <laughs> well, don't go up there. I can't, it's so hard for me to climb. Why would you do that to me? Unless you don't care about me. Get over here, friend! Because she hit him with the nerve toxin. What'd you do? Damn it! Lame. I'm not doing too hot this one. Ugh. All right, let's see, let's see. I like that if I whack them out of the air, it knocks them onto the ground. So like, what is this game mode? Like, wh where do you think they were trying to go with this? Like, what was the thought process? You I don't know. Idea? Really? Seems a little, little unthought out, if you ask me personally, but... It, it's a, a counterintuitive to, like, what the game is about. Yeah, it, it takes away the whole hunt, everything, all the, all the stuff that really made the game what it was, I feel. It's, it's weird, like, this is just silly. Yeah, this is kind of silly. Just let me win, then, because it's so silly. I, I think we are going to win. Not if I try harder! Oh, damn it, you got me. <laughs> Alright. 
I don't. I I. So maybe Turtle Rock is to blame a little bit for some <laughs> really bad development choices, like not giving us new maps and not giving us real new hunters. You know what? Uh, they didn't re re-release all the maps from the original <sighs> game either. That's another thing. They also didn't give us all the game modes, right? Wasn't there like a nest? Yeah, and, there was uh, a nest one. There was uh, there was a couple. Um, ooh, I feel really bad for you guys. Why? This is so not on your side. <laughs> we say this to you guys, like it's... Hilarious. This, this, this map here is less than ideal for all of you. No, I don't want to come out. You guys are rude. I like my cave. Go away. Oh, are you the monster? Yeah, I've been the monster dude this whole time. Yeah. I am a little shocked it took you this long to figure that one out, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to be mad at you for it. Do what I gotta do. Just got on the other side of that, you sneaky bugger. I can't believe you didn't notice I was the monster. Didn't you see it said my name above it this whole time? No, I didn't. Just getting away from me. I don't know why my, uh... Don't go up here, they're not up here to help you! <laughs> well, they're not anywhere. <laughs> God, there's another monster attacking your team. Oh, she's gonna get you up. She's gonna get you up. Oh, I don't like that. Else, Boom! Alright, I guess I'll focus on the medic like I should have been from the get-go. One more, bam! No more heals. You guys are stuck out there. And I'll just deal with this girl now. Do 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 do. Boom! Get out of here! I don't know where your other dude is. I think he's just up know. top waiting for death. This I'll is get like to him. really stupid. Yeah, this is kind of painful, ain't it? Like, what's the point? This isn't what the game was supposed to do at all. Yep. No, they decided to try to. I don't. I don't know what they decided to try to do. I think people were clamoring for like a deathmatch mode. I. I think. I don't know if that's a fact at all. Why? I wonder if I can get to. I wonder if I can get to stage three right now because I only started stage two. I'm not even gonna fight this guy. Where is he? Oh, there's a timer. Yo, let's find out what Sudden Death does. Death. <laughs> oh my god, get fucked. Uh, I'm glad you think that. <laughs> I'm glad you think that that's what that's gonna happen here. Oh, really? Really, my Cabin, wall? Shoot through the wall, Cabot! It's your special ability! <laughs> he doesn't know. Time Hunter down. Boom. 
I'm fine with it. So, this is our goodbye to Evolve. I won a game as the Behemoth. I'm fine with it. Goodbye, there Behemoth, you my a, baby. You had a double, a double feature. You got to play a game as a hunter and a game as a monster and win both. I know. I It, it just makes me happy. I'm, I'm goodbye, Behemoth, my, my stone baby. I love you. Goodbye, I'm sorry bro. that I'm sorry that the developers were garbage. Yo, they definitely fixed the key game. Silver keys. I've gotten two thousand in two games. Yeah, but but the characters are still like twenty thousand each. Yeah, that's that that is true. But so this is this has been our goodbye to evolve. I hope we've you know given given some insight as to why the game failed and what we thought about. I mean, I still like the game. I still think it's fun. I wish it didn't fail. I really wish it didn't either. I wish Evolve could have given get, gotten its maiden voyage the way it deserved and, and you know, kept sailing, but... but it went dead. the way of the Titanic. It came in with a lot of big expectations, a lot of big hype, and then it sank. Halfway through its journey. What is it, five months in? Yeah, this would be its fifth month. Five months after release, it, 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 it is now a resounding failure. So... Sometimes you can't, you just can't make a good game work. Sometimes good games just, you know, they come out with great intentions and people just don't flock to them and they fail, like Evolve did here. So, goodbye Evolve, goodbye you sweet summer child that was made on fevered dreams of Doritos and milkshakes. But wait. Oh, what? oh, we can't do it, never mind. What? There's a way that you could switch back to original Evolve. You can play Legacy back when, like, what it was on release. Really? Yeah, but you have to be either a founder or you need to own the Legacy game, which I don't think many people do, and I don't think you can get it. Lame. Well, I mean, I own the Legacy the game, but not for the computer. Rest in peace, Evolve. Yep, rest in peace, Evolve. So, Sweet dreams. This has been Final Hydra and Dogmai talking about Evolve, saying our goodbyes to a game that we we devoted a decent amount of time to and we found a lot of love for, but it just didn't make it in the end. So, goodbye, Evolve. Thank you for the thank you for the lols. Thank you for the the good times, the bad times, the the murder balls, all of it. It was it was pretty decent. It was it was a good time. Rest in I peace, buddy. See you later. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like this content, please subscribe. And if you played Evolve Stage 2 and, you, and you're a little bit sad at its passing, let us know in the comments. It's, you know, we have to mourn this game as, as a community a little bit because this was, this was, a, this was a pipe dream of a, of a company that just failed. And that's always sad when that happens. So thank you very much. And as always, we'll see you next time. Wah, 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 wah.